Hello everyone, today we will be talking about the sternal angle, also known as the angle of Louis, and this is one of the most important landmarks that you will come across in anatomy. And the sternal angle is just a transverse ridge, right, that you can palpate about 5 centimeters below the suprasternal notch, also known as the jugular notch and this sternal angle it is this angle or this transverse ridge it basically marks the manubrio sternal joint right so that so the sternal angle itself or the transverse ridge itself is marking the manubrio sternal joint between the manubrium and the body of the sternum and it is located at the level of the second costal cartilage and the second intercostal space right i'm hoping this makes sense and posteriorly it is at the level of the intervertebral disc between t4 and t5 vertebra now the, these couple of points are very important for mcqs so i will repeat and i'll show you a diagram as you can see over here, this is the sternal angle and the sternal angle is the transverse ridge which marks the manubrio sternal joint and it is located about 5 cm below this notch which is known as the suprasternal notch because it is, it is at the superior part of the sternum. It is also known as the jugular notch, right? And anteriorly at the level of the sternal angle, um, this over here is the costal facet, my apologies, is the clavicular notch. And this over here is the, uh, is the facet for the first rib. This is a um, complete facet. And this is one hemifacet and this is another hemifacet for the second costal cartilage, the second rib. So anteriorly at the level of the sternal angle, we have the second rib and the second intercostal space anteriorly. And posteriorly we will have the T4, T5 intervertebral disc. Right, so the sternal angle uh, corresponds to a variety of important structures and transitions for example, the plane which demarcates the superior and the inferior mediastinum, anteriorly it passes through the sternal angle. Over here, this plane is shown um, with a dotted line. Anteriorly, it is passing through the sternal angle. Posteriorly, this plane which divides the superior and the inferior mediastinum is passing through the T4, T5 intervertebral disc right over here. Right. The second important point to note is that the ascending aorta ends at the level of the sternal angle. The ascending aorta is shown in orange at, and at the level of this uh, sternal angle it ends. So the ascending aorta is not found in the superior mediastinum. The arch of the aorta begins and ends at the level of the sternal angle. It is shown in red. And so the arch of the aorta is found in the superior mediastinum, whereas the ascending aorta is found in the middle mediastinum, in the middle part of the inferior mediastinum. The descending aorta starts at the level of the sternal angle and is found in the posterior mediastinum of the inferior mediastinum. And these are very important points. Fourthly, the sternal angle demarcates the upper limit of the base of the heart. The base of the heart is made of the right and the left atrium, mostly the left atrium. So the upper limit is demarcated by the sternal angle because obviously the heart is wholly and completely found in the middle mediastinum alone. These four points should be very easy to remember. They all the first three are all related to the aorta the ascending the arch and the descending 
the fourth point is about again the heart but this time about the upper limit of the base of the heart similarly at the level of the sternal angle over here the trachea divides or bifurcates into its two principal bronchi as can be seen over here this is then the sixth point including the one for the superior and the inferior mediastinum the seventh point is the fact that the pulmonary trunk also divides at this level so we are now on, on, on to the eighth point the eighth point is the fact that at the level of the sternal angle this is the thoracic duct at this level the thoracic duct crosses from the right to the left side of the mediastinum um, then the next point is the fact that the at the level of the sternal angle this is the zygous vein this is the level of the sternal angle the zygous vein arches over the root of the right lung this is the root of the right lung and drains into the superior vena cava at the same level the cardiac plexuses are also located at this level this is it about the sternal angle 10 very important points that should not be forgotten